Does your dust collection unit suffer from lack of suction, gets plugged up, or maybe your can just sucks shut and it doesn't even work right? Well, watch this video. We're going to go with the Wood River Dust Connection Trash Can Cyclone Lid. Slices and dices makes thousands of bullion fries. Even covers up those ridiculous bald spots. So stay tuned, friends. We'll go right to it. We'll go step by step. And you can even do this while I'm doing this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to another video of American Woodsmith. My name is Dan. Uh, today's video is just an upgrade that I'm doing to my uh, dust collection, which is just a little shop vac currently. But today I got a the Wood River Dust Collection Trash Can Cyclone Lid. Right? Plastic lid. It's got some nice. Uh, seal here. It's got an elbow to shoot the stuff. It's supposed to go in a cyclone action like so. So we'll try her out. So I, I just acquired it with uh, some 4 inch to 2 inch. Try it out. And what's going to happen is my galvanized trash can As you can see, it's going to collapse, and I'll show you that. Turn the sound off here quick. I'll show you here. As you can see, As you can see, while it's while it's running, and if you get a clog in that hose, man, that really is just sucking that can all the way to Sunday. So we got to make a little modification. Let me pop this back out. So as you can see there got her popped back out. So what you got to do, we're going to take a double piece of plywood in a circle with some holes drilled out and we'll, we'll push that down close to the center here and that'll keep it from uh, sucking the sides in because what's going to happen it's not going to keep the suction uh, it's not going to keep all your dust in the can it's going to end up in your filter so uh, follow me along here it won't take very long and we'll go over this side Set up here. All right, so basically, I got a double piece of uh, three quarter plywood. It was actually left over from my uh, wood saw project. And all I did, draw a circle. I measured inside the can, it's, you can go anywhere probably from 15 inch up to about 19, depending where you want to put uh, this in the can. All I did was grab a screw, and I have uh, just this general purpose strapping, 
for like duck strap and it's got holes. All I did was find the right one and just went around in a circle. Okay. And what I also did is made a couple marks from uh, each side, center to each side. I'm going to put a four inch hole. And that's going to ensure that all your dust falls down into the holes. Okay? And we're going to get started and then we're going to cut this out with a jigsaw. If you got a bandsaw, that's great. That'll work great. And while we're at it, if you don't mind, please subscribe. Alright, so I'm going to start with drilling the holes. That way they're already cut because we're going to make this piece smaller and it might be hard to, to work with. So we're going to cut our holes out. Okay. You might get away with uh, putting one in the center. I mean, if you if you find that it uh, builds up a lot extra in the center, you can definitely put another hole in there. But I think we're going to start cutting our hole out next.
Now we'll check our can. Can here. See in there? Got quite a bit of dust. Now we'll check our shop back. See if it's still clean. That still as clean as uh, I just washed it out earlier. So with just a few bucks, this was like forty dollars. So with just about forty dollars for the lid, a galvanized trash can, a couple fittings. And your shop vac you use anyhow. And that little modification, it took care of, uh, well, took care of two problems with sucking the can in with our, our double sheet of plywood. You could probably use two single pieces, maybe even uh, separate them from lower to higher inside the can. Uh, but that worked very well, just putting that in the center. Tighten that can up, and uh, next step, we're going to upgrade the shop vac to a WEN 650 CFM dust collection unit. That'll be the next video. So if you like to give me thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you see more of these videos. And again, I'm Dan from American Woodsmith. Thanks for watching.